Hello everyone! Today we're going to eat lunch at Manila Hotel's Cafe Ilang Ilang. So I'm with the titas of Manila and we're going to uh, try the lunch buffet that Manila Hotel is offering. So we are having lunch with the titas of Manila in celebration of Anna's birthday. So Anna, happy birthday! So we used to frequent Manila Hotel in the past during my rotary days. But for such a long time, I haven't been back to Manila Hotel. So this is again my first time to eat at Manila Hotel. So this is the beef barbecue. Yan palang ang sarap na marble potatoes and vegetables. So I can confidently say that this is one of the nicest and the best buffet that I've ever experienced. Aside from spirals and okada. Um, they have a nice bread. Amazed na amazed ako dyan sa mga vegetable art nila. Made all the presentation really beautiful. So, they have the halal section where you have your hummus, your mixed olives, yan, at marami pang iba. And then, you have your papadan, your vegetable samosa, curry. So, I guess this is the Indian section. You have your basmati rice, the lamb curry, this, I think this is a shrimp, the creamy garlic prawns, and then this is also the nicest spread I've seen for a Japanese section. Yung sushi and sashimi nila, ang ganda, ang ganda tala. But I wasn't able to eat from this part because I think si Anna, um had tempura brought to our table so yun lang yung nakain ko hindi na ako nakabalik but I really like how they presented everything ito yung Japanese section that's tempura there's a tepan section vegetable this naman is the Korean Korean section yan yung inyong mga anchovies and the pancake and then my favorite is the Chinese section Ang sarap niyang crab and corn soup, lalo na yung mainit. And then they have dumplings. And then this is the first time I tried the chicken feet. Ang sarap pala nun, it's super soft. Hindi ko na alam kung saan ako mag-uumpisa. Dapat pala kumuha na lang ako kaagad. So, yung first part ng ating food is soup muna. Wow, may pang soup. Chinese. And it's John. Biglang, biglang Chinese, tas like it's John. Actually, baka masarap. This is such a huge tuna. Super ganda. And then, these are king crabs. Siya nga ba ng mga sipit? And then, this is the mga chicken galantin. Ano pa nga ba yan? Hindi ko yung natikman. Lahat yan. Sa sobrang dami ng food, there's really not enough space in my tummy to fill it up. So, this is the section for the bread section. Isang tinapay lang ang natikman ko dyan. Because, yan, the next one is the cheese section, which is very small. Yan, ang cute nung ano, nung kanilang vegetable art. And fruit art pala. So, yan, cheese. So, this is my cheese plate from the charcuterie. And then, we asked the waiter to serve us baked tahong and chili garlic shrimp. Yan yung chicken feet na sinasabi ko. It's my first time to eat that. And then the waiter gave us fruits naman. And this is the dessert section of Manila Hotel. They featured the Filipino snacks. Like buko pandan. Yan. But I got panakota. Yan. Pandan yan sa ilalim eh. This is I think a panakota. There's sapin sapin. Yan. They have a very wide selection naman for the dessert. But I opted to just get pistachio pudding. This is rambutan which they've peeled 
all ready for you. And then, they have banana. Minus the stick. Banana Q minus the stick. And then, they have a assortment of pastries. Yan. So, daming choices. There's even a matcha roll on top. And then, several other yeah, desserts. And then, assorted cookies. And then, they also have a section for gelato. Yung ice cream. With a lot of different flavors. So, it's raining. You might be hearing the rain in the background while I'm editing this. So, I got the pistachio pudding. And then, this panna cotta. The panna cotta is too sweet, so hindi ko masyadong lakay. So, photo ops naman with the titas of Manila. Hello everyone, we're here at Manila Hotel. We're here at Cafe Ilang Ilang for the buffet, lunch buffet with the titas of Manila. Okay. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Oh, sabi mo naman, hi. like and subscribe Dr. Marilar's channel and TikTok. <laughs> Please like and subscribe Marilar de Guzman channel. YouTube channel and TikTok. Wow, the Panalo. Um, we are here yeah. now at the post celebration, yeah. post birthday celebration of Doña Ana Soriano. Miss <laughs> Doña. Ah, ayan siya. Si Doña kasama ang dating uh, isang heredera. Heredera. Asawa ng isang, asawa ng isang congressman. Ambassador. 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 How about you? What can you say? Thank you. Thank That's you. <laughs> she also. Thank you, Nita and Vaya Home. Not only that, she has 10 hectares of rice fields and all kinds of plants in Batangas. Abukay, Batangas. I'm going to go to the next one. Hello! I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Ano 
So this is a Christmas tree we bought from IKEA and then it's in a red galvanized uh, container then there's also Christmas balls a Christmas balls is actually 290 per box but it may actually fit two Christmas trees so today we're going to unbox the moon cake then that we bought from Manila Hotel. This mooncake is about 340 per piece. So each mooncake has its own desiccant so to keep all the moisture away from the mooncake so diyan kinakain so please don't oh, please take it off before eating the mooncake so i already sliced the mooncake it's soft and so this is how you would test if it is fresh when you slice it it goes through the mooncake very very smoothly Yan. And then each mooncake is enough. Each quarter of a mooncake is enough already. It's enough to make you full. So this is how it looks. There's the egg in the middle. Then Bella prepared a charcuterie plate for all of us to snack on. So, yan, it's composed of cheese, preserved foods, and some cold cuts, chorizo, and liner's ham. So, this is the parmesan cheese. And then, we have the manchego. The fig, crackers, apricot, brie, and cranberry. The chorizo and the lioner disappeared. Konti lang kasi siya. And this is like the third charcuterie plate that we made out of the stuff that we bought from Santis the other day. Then this is the mixed berry cake left over yan from the stuff we bought from Wildflower the other night last Friday.
So today we're also going to pot and propagate my cactus. I received my Gymno cactus, the one I bought from Shopee last last week pa, but it's only now that I have the time to repot it or pot it. So join me as I pot my Gymno cactus. So this gymno cactus cost 200 per 10 pieces but the seller gave me an extra gymno and I also bought one big gymno which is around 120 per piece. So earlier today I already prepared the materials that we're going to use for potting and propagating the cactus. So we have the potting mixture or the potting medium which is the cactus soil and then I also washed the pots which I've used for other plants before. I just chose the small ones kasi maliliit lang naman yung ating mga cactus. So I washed my pots first before we're going to use it. So I've actually potted around 6 earlier already. So, we'll just put the rest of the gymnocactus. So, this gymno is actually the hybrid variety. Now, this cactus is a good gift suggestion for Christmas. So, as early as now, itong maliliit na mga gymno, pag nipat nyo ngayon, by mga December, medyo malalaki na yan. So, it's a thoughtful gift for Christmas. So, made out of love. Sa dami ng ririgaluhan sa Pasko, di naman kailangan na sobrang expensive ng gift. So, it's just important to tell that person that you've remembered them. At sa lahat ng halaman, ang cactus ang pinakamadaling alagaan dahil hindi kailangan araw-araw, kailangan mong diligan. You may see through the uh, location where I am now, there's a lot of pots. So kasi yung mga halaman naman, hindi sila forever. So every season, you have to change your plants. So itong mga pots na to pinaglagyan na siya ng mga ibang halaman in the past. Pero, ang mga cactus ko lang ang tumatagal. So, eventually, I foresee all of these pots being used. <laughs> Mag-ipon ako ng maraming cactus. So this huge gym no has a discoloration already under. So yan yung magandang part ng mga gym no yung ibang kulay nila sa part ng body ng cactus. So I'm thankful that the weather today cooperated with me. Otherwise baka hindi pa ako natuloy magplant. So today, the temperature is ranging from 27 to 31 degrees, 31 being the hottest already. So otherwise, if hindi ganito kababa yung temperature, I won't be able to plant here in the terrace. Usually, sobrang init dito. So I also am doing voiceover because as you all know, we're situated right in front of the street. So and the and the electric fan is also causing additional noise. So yeah, just so that you'd be able to hear me clearly.
So we are actually planting the 11th. This is the free gymno, 11th gymno. So this is the 11th gymno that we're potting already. So last last week I also potted. Uh, small babies wherein I propagated them. Yan, tatlong maliit na babies. Mas maliit pa sila niyan last last week. So lumaki na siya ng lagay na yan. So we'll do the same treatment for the for the pots. We'll put the white rocks on top. So that umangat yung mga cactus or mas maging maganda siya. It also protects the cactus eh, with the white rocks. So that when you water the cactus, hindi masyado magstay yung water sa may body ng cactus because it would serve as a like a filter. Yay, that's our last gym, no? The big one. This is 120 per piece. Sa Shopee ko lang yan binili. Or Lazada. Well, I put the the seller on the description below or the link. And now, these are my collection of cactus. We have the gymnos. Yan, lima silang gymno. Ganda, no? May iba-iba silang kulay. And then, we have the other cactus as well. Konti lang naman ng cactus ko. Yan. Oh. Yan. Yan which we will propagate. Dami niya ng babies. And the other cactus. Yan. So, this cactus also has small babies. It starts with a very, very small bump at the lower portion of the cactus usually it starts with a very white yan small mass under white lang siya and then with exposure to sun it becomes green so hindi mo na natin to ipopropagate kasi yan hindi pa fully develop yung baby na nasa ilalim nag acquire pa lang siya ng mga spines at saka ng color we're done potting so we'll put everything in the tray so for you to see all what we have accomplished for today so the next step for this is to put the decorax on top the white decorax but I'm not sure if it's going to uh, be enough for all of the <laughs> the cactus uh, but I'm ordering already from marketplace so every year naghahanap pa ako ng distributor because those are decorax for candles. I just used it here for the cactus. Uh, but you can usually buy that from the garden center. It's just that hindi ako mupunta ngayon sa garden center because there's class, which means it's traffic going to farmers. That's the garden center which I usually frequent sa farmers pa. So just to buy a decorax, and uh, Mag-order na lang ako sa Lazada, otherwise madistract ako ng iba pang mabibili na halaman. Now naman, we're going to separate the baby cactus from the mommy cactus. A 
as you can see sobrang ganda ng root system niya but we have to still separate by cutting the roots from yung baby yung roots that supplies the baby to the mother so you have to still cut that It's also time to change my spoon to a bigger container for uh, filling up the pots with the potting soil. So now we're using a smaller pot to put soil into the, the pot that we're going to use for the mother cactus. And we're done repotting the mommy cactus. Now we're going to replenish our potting area with more cactus soil. So I'm using the CNS potting soil. This is the soil for cactus and I'm buying from Gardening Tita. In repotting your cactus, you just suspend by holding the cactus with one with the one hand while the other hand fills up the soil or fills up the pot with the soil. So just to keep the cactus in the middle or in the right position. So we're done repotting the baby cactus. We're also going to top this with the deco rock, which is the white rock later on. Now it's time to propagate this cactus which has plenty of babies so we'll repot each baby in a separate pot however since it's very small I opted to just um, put them all together like six to nine in one pot so that hindi tayo masyadong matoxic and super small lang kasi yung mga babies so Hindi siya ganun nag-occupy nag ng masyadong space. And I don't think I have that small a potting, potting medium or a pot to accommodate the babies. Masyado siyang maliit. Usually, madali lang tanggalin yung mga babies from the mother. But ito, medyo, I had to cut off the root. But the subsequent babies, madali lang. I just pluck it out from the mommy's uh, body surface body surface cactus surface so yan since we're handling cactus it has uh, prickly spines make sure that you use gloves uh, if feasible, mas makapal kesa dito sa gloves na ginagamit ko because some of the spine still goes in eh. Ito yung mga cheap lang na gloves. So, siguro yung mga 
high end na gloves hindi siya mag hindi siya mag uh, popok sa skin niyo even if you handle the um uh, the spiny body of the cactus able to separate the babies from the mommy and it was like a total of 22 baby cactus that we separated so we'll try to repot the mommy first and then the babies naman So we are planting the babies here in one container so after this we'll just do everything and then show you afterwards so that this vlog won't be too long. So ayan, we were able to pot 6 cactus in one pot. So 
So it's time to replenish the potting medium sa ating tray. So from here on, I will do the rest of the potting. Tapos we'll just show you kung ilan yung mga pots na nalagyan natin ng mga babies or baby cactus. So these are all the finished um, pots na naripat na natin. We had three. One uh, has six cactus. The other has nine. The rest, nine din. So, I am actually planting here, not in this uh, planting table kasi madumi pa siya. There's a lot of plants on top of the planting table or the table for planting. Just. Since it's a Sunday, later tonight, we'll be watering our cactus. So, nalinis ko na yung potting table. So, except for these babies that we propagated, kasi if you nick the surface of the cactus, tapos expose mo sa water, pwede siyang mag -rot. So, ang i-water lang natin ay itong mga gymno na ating ni-repot. So, these are some of the repotted gymno. Tapos, I place the rest sa ibang part ng plant, uh, plant stand kasi din sa kasha doon. And then i-water din natin tong ibang cactus. So ito naman yung mga enjoy. I have to clean it kasi uh, matagal na siyang hindi nalilinisan. The leka has to be cleaned. Otherwise, pwede siyang mag-harbor ng mga uh, pests. So these are the baby gymnos which we have repotted. I top them with white deco rocks. And then, we also have the babies that we propagated from the mother cactus. Some of my collection of cactuses. Cacti, good luck to all of us. So this is my potting table. It holds all my enjoy and my burn marks. I have already cleaned them all. So I cleaned all the leka balls and all the containers. Because in time, nag-accumulate siya ng algae. So, if you expose this in the sun, nagde-develop siya ng algae growth. So, you have to clean the container once in a while. It's night time already. It's time to water our cactus. For the other cactus, such as this, the barrel cactus, the watering is not every Sunday. It's once every two months. But we're doing the full watering. Unlike yung mga iba, parang pa konti, konti lang, I do full water. So, gymno is every Sunday. Yan. So, I topped all the gymno that I repotted, lahat ng bagong bide, with white deco rocks. But, I ran out of the deco rock, so some walang top na white rocks. This is the IKEA Christmas tree. Finished na siya. We're just waiting for the fairy lights. Hello everyone! We're here to unbox my cactus haul. Um, since yung vlog ko is about cactus, uh, I want to include this in the vlog that I'm going to put up this week. So, samahan niyo akong mag-unbox ng bago kong mga cactus. So, actually, ang ganda niya. Sana nandito kayo. Para makita, I don't know if this is another cactus. I think it is. So, this is how it all looks like. Ang gaganda nila. So, I ordered 10 gymno. 
And, nagbigay po siya ng isang libre. So, that's actually 7, 8, 9, 10. That's all gym, no? And one free. Yung malaki is free. And then, I bought two Astros. So, yun pa pala ang nandito sa isang i-unbox natin. Walang nakikita. Siyempre, magpapa-excuse na naman ako sa maingay namin. Background. Sa maingay nating background. Sapagkat so, kami ay nakatira sa tabi ng daan. Struggle is me. And I think tinisyo niya pa. So, good luck sa atin. cover yung mga astro. So, I bought two different kinds of astro. Let's see. So, binalutan niya pa. So, sige, unbox pa din natin. Good luck. Masahin na hindi mapako ang kamay ko. Uh, because these are cactus. And wala akong gloves ngayon. So, yan. Ganyan ang itsura. Ng kanya. So, ang ganda ng pagkakapackage niya. So, ayan. Doon so, makita niya ang itsura. So, ganyan niya pinak yung mga cactus. So, I have small ones. Yung itong mga maliit na cactus, if you buy it, she's selling it I'm going to put in the description below the name of the seller. Her name is Jackie Potter and I saw her name sa marketplace sa Facebook. So, ito, hindi siya nakapot. We still have to pot it. So, she's selling this, the small ones, 5 for 300 pesos. So, aside from this, binigyan niya ako ng free yung isang malaking gym, no? So, hindi ko na ilalabas lahat. Hindi rin siya nakapat. See? Naka-approach siya. Dry naman siya. So, yan. Oh, it's a gift. It says, it's a gift. This one, you would usually buy this, mga 200 to 300 ang isa. So, meron na siyang kulay. So, yun na yung favorite kong i-collect. The cactus. Kasi, mahirap siyang patayin. <laughs> Imbis na buhay yun, eh, no? Mahirap siyang patayin. Eh kasi lahat ng mga binibili, madaling mamatay. Ito, mahirap siyang patayin. Basta alagaan lang sa dilig. Which is, um, you have to... So, I water it the same way the seller is watering it. Which is once a week, Sunday. So, from the time na nakuha ko yung mga... Una kong mga cactus. Ganun na yung pag dilig ko sa kanila. But the new one is the Astro. Itong Astro, medyo mahal. Ganun din. Maganda. It's already with the pot. So, sobrang ganda nung pagka-pack niya. So, I buy from her I bought from her before yung lima ko. So, yan ang Astro. And, uh, I bought from her before. 
And hanggang ngayon buhay pa sila. And they're so pretty. Uh, continuous pa rin yung paglaki nila. So, ito. This is the SK Goryo Foku. Meron akong ang tawag mo dito, kodigo. Hindi ko memorize. Fukuruyu. Hindi, mali. Fukuruyu. Yan. SK Goryo Fukuruyu. Asya siya. The SK Goryo Fukuruyu is 800. It's already in a 4 inches. 4 inches na hunting. Ano na? You're taking off everything on the packaging. Kaka gusto mo isama sa vlog. Yan. Struggle is so good. So, yan. Sa kanya din ako bibili ng ah uh, ganda yung soil de brown. The ones I use for my gym, no? Yung nirepat ko color gray and black so she uses brown potting mix and they prepared it themselves so hindi ko na isabay dito kasi bukas pa daw excited lang ako I only have time every Sunday to do this kaya kadadating niya lang actually so mga mag aalas 11 o'clock na ng gabi So, it's Sunday night. This is the time that I do all my household chores, linis, but I'm only able to do section of the house. Basta ang importante is, malinis ko yung mga comfort rooms because that's being used all the time. And the kitchen. So, and then, sa haba-haba ng panang, ngayon ako nagka-oras para sa mga halaman. So, this is so pretty. Tingnan mo, ang ganda pati ng soil niya. We'll take a snapshot of the cactus later. This one is more expensive. By 100 pesos lang naman. But ito, meron siyang mga dots dots sa ibabaw. A color brown. Ito naman, meron siyang parang star. Star sa ibabaw. This is 900 pesos each. Ayan. So, maganda. Meron. Meron na po form na. So, grabe. Ang ganda. Ganda rin ang mga pots niya. Ano yung mga pots ko na pinag lipatan o na pinag lipatan ng mga nabili ko gym nyo. Ang mga nagamit na. But ito, ganda o. Ano yung pot na. So, naputong na tayo ng pati. And ng packaging material. So, ang ganda rin ng pagkakaano niya. Pagkapak niya. Hindi tumatapon yung mga soil. It's all intact. Ang ganda, grabe. Oh, sana mabuhay. So, sa pagtanggal ko, baka mabati. There's only like several pieces of stones. Yan na nga, isa. Babalik ko pa. Dalawa. Tatlo. Tatlong piraso. Bato. So, yan. This is naman the Astrea Goryo Fukuryu. It has a star. 
I'll show it, hindi ko matip, baka matapon. So, imbis na makatulog tayo na maaga, eh, magpulot tayo ng buong gabi. So, yan. I will put in the description below the name of the cactus and the snapshot. And where I bought it. So, yan. This is 900 pesos. This is the Astrea Goryu Fukuryu. And this one is SK Goryu Fukuryu, which is 800. And then the rest are the others. We'll throw this down. try to put out everything para makita niyo maganda na. It's really so pretty. Ang, gan ang galing mo. Pag akala mo nakapati. Eh. Kailangan pang bumili ng potting material from her. See? Ang ganda ng colors. It's not only green. Merong orange. Na reddish. And yellow. So that's why I like Jim no? Because of the colors. So, hindi siya boring na white, ay, green lang. Mayroon siya ibang kulay. Makes it really pretty. So, nilabas ko na lahat. So, I can take a picture of everything. So, these are the gym, no? This is the orange ones. Lima siya. She's selling it for like... She sells it at 3 uh, ah, no, 300 for 5 pieces. So, 5. Tapos, magkaibang kulay. Magkasama yung mga dilaw. So, this is 300 for 5 gymnos. So, 10 ang binili ko. And, isang libre. Isang free. So, that's it. I hope to see you in my next vlog. Sobrang tagal na nitong vlog na to. It's the longest vlog I have made. But because I put in all the vlogs or all the activities that I had in a week in just one vlog. So, yan. I don't have that much time to make any vlogs and edit the vlogs. So, Sunday and the entire week, pag may time yun, I try to put, uh, I try to make videos or record some stuff to, to put up. Hindi pa ako na bake ulit. We'll bake, I promise, those who won during the basketball game, I promise them cookies so hindi pa ako nakakapag-bake. That would be school by next week. Hopefully, magkaroon ako ng time para mag-bake for that. So, para ma-fulfill ko yung promise ko sa mga nanalo ng basketball sa Benz Cup. Okay, so hats off to everyone who's still here. I hope to see you in my next vlog. Please like and subscribe. It will surely help my channel to grow. <laughs>